Hello humans, today I'm going to show you on how to play Pokemon Blue and Diamond and Shining Pearl. This is an updated guide and in 2023 so that you'll be able to play Pokemon Blue and Diamond and Shining Pearl perfectly well into your PC, Linux or into your Android mobile device. So this video tutorial will not just work with PC but also into your mobile phone as long as you follow all the steps. The steps that I've shown you in the installation process of uh, this game into your PC is the same as into an Android phone so what you need is that you will need to have all of these files here that i have highlighted in my desktop so this is important and also you will need to install the latest build of yuzu emulator so for those who don't know what is yuzu yuzu is an app that will enable you to play nintendo switch games into your pc as long as you have all of these files here installed in yuzu note that this is very important very important that you cannot play switch games without this file so you will need to have all of this and also uh, the latest build of yuzu emulator Okay, so as you can see, I have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and is in version 1.3.0. But first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Yuzu. So I'm going to minimize it now and open a web browser. And I'm just going to type in Yuzu Emulator and hit search. Yuzu Emulator.org is their official website, so be sure to click on that. Now go to download. Now go to the Android tab here. So if you want to uh, install this uh, emulator into your Android, you can do that by clicking on this here, and then you'll be directed to the page for the user emulator for Android. And if you're from Mac, I mean Linux, you can get the install from here. And if you're from Windows, just click the download for Windows 64 uh, version button here. Okay, so since I have already installed uh, use emulator into my PC, I'm just gonna skip on this part because the download installation process is really easy to do and that anyone can do this. So any new can do this. The download installation process is really simple. So just be sure that you only get use emulator from this site because this is the official site, okay? So I'm going to minimize this now and I'm going to assume that you have already installed use emulator. So if this is your first installation, be sure to boot it up, run it now, and then you'll be met with certain errors saying that you'll need some certain files to be installed in Yuzu before you can play Switch games. Again, these are the files that get and these are the most important files, okay? So what are these files? These files are the Nintendo Switch case and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both should be in version 16.0.3 so that you'll be able to uh, uh, play the newly released Switch games and the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pro games into your PC and into your phone. So uh, uh, you should get the XEF file format of the Pokemon BDSB game and their updated files. So these are all the files that are needed. So if you're asking me where to get all of these files, uh, the most legal way to do this, to get all of these files, is that you own an Nintendo Switch console, you have modded an Nintendo Switch console, and have installed a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware, that means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those system files, all you have to do is just copy all of the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware file from your Switch into your PC. Now, in order for you to get a game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally and have a physical copy of that game so that you can now digitally back up that game into an XCF file format, just like mine here. So if you don't have a Switch but still wants to play this game, or you have a Switch but don't have to mod or install a custom firmware but still wants to play this game, I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all of these files. So in order for you to get all of these files here, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in the screen wherein you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone that will redirect you to the page where and you can get all of these files. So once you are redirected, be sure to hover down in the middle part of the website so that you'll get the XCI file format of Pokemon BDSP. And once you've done that and you have a copy of that file uh, in the bottom part of the website, there is you can download the keys and the firmware file of the switch. And once you have all of these files now, you have downloaded them, then just transfer them into your PC, assuming that you are downloading them into your mobile phone. So be sure to connect your mobile phone via USB cable and then just transfer the files. So I'm just going to assume that you have already have a copy of those files. So it's time to uh, install them in use your emulator. And by the way, uh, the installation process uh, is the same with PC and into the Android phone. So now I'm going to go to use it and I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to open Yuzu folder and I'm just going to look for keys folder here. Open that and then open the key 16.0.3 file. Then just drag and drop, copy and paste these files into this folder. This folder, by the way, should be empty because it's your first installation. So I'm just going to close in that. Now it's time to install the Nintendo Switch firmware. To do this, just go to file and then go to open Yuzu folder. Go to NAND folder. 
system folder, contents folder, and then registered folder. Then open the firmware file and then select all of these files and then just paste them into this folder. This folder should be empty again because uh, this is your first installation and this will copy all of the firmware file of the switch into your PC now so that your user emulator is now like a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to close in that. So the next step is to install the uh, Pokemon Brilliant and Shining Pearl update into your user emulator. To do this, just click on File, Install Files to NAND, locate your uh, update files and just click on them and hit Open. And it will now update your uh, Pokemon BDSB game. So I'm just going to skip on this part because that will say, take some time. So uh, the next step now is to optimize your Yuzu emulator so that you'll be no issues in running and playing the game. So to do this, just go to emulation, go to configure. And in this part, be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here, okay? So that you'll have a copy of every setting that I have set, okay? So this is for the general tab. And I'm going to go to system tab. The most important part of this tab is that the core part, this two here, just copy everything. And here in the system part, this is subjective. You can change this to whatever you like. And I'm going to go to CPU and set to auto and in the graphics. So this is the most important part of the setting here in user configuration. Um, there are some games that runs quite well with Vulkan. So be sure to change Vulkan if there is a game that is not running right, right, uh, not run, running right. So change on that. And if there's a game that does not run well with Vulkan, then change that to OpenGL. So it's vice versa. So in here, the resolution, I have set to two times resolution so that the game will look sharper and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle the resolution scale, so be sure to revert back to the native resolution, which is one times resolution, the same resolution as the Switch. But for me, two times resolution the best because that will look much more better than the native resolution of the Switch. Now I'm going to go to advance. So in this part, just be sure to copy every setting you see from here. Again, pause the video. I'm going to go to audio. So these are easy settings. So just copy that. I'm going to go to those controls. I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and I have mapped them up accordingly. The same as the Switch Pro Controller and the dead zone for both left and right sticks are set into 0.20% in the dead zone so that there'll be no drifting into my playthroughs. You can connect your Xbox and PlayStation controller here and then you can just map them up according to liking. And once done, hit OK. Now your user emulator is now fully optimized to run any Nintendo Switch games into your PC, just like as Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But a little bit of disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys the gameplay of Pokemon BDSB because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't play well with content creators such as me uh, when playing uh, Nintendo Switch games into my PC using Yuzu emulator. So if I show you guys a gameplay that I can run Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into my PC, then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down. And that would be a major hassle on my side. So I hope you guys do understand on that part, okay? Uh, but as a proof that this video trail is working, I'm willing to compromise a little bit. So I'm just going to boot up Pokemon Brilliant Diamond here and I'm going to boot up in the title screen. Once I am the title screen of the game, I'm just going to stop the emulation from there. And also, I'm just going to blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel. And again, please do understand on that. Okay, so I'm just going to be booting up uh, the game and it's now loaded. So I'm just going to stop it now. As you can see, it is quite working well. It runs perfectly well. I have not installed any mods on this so that the game will look much more uh, vibrant and more beautiful but it runs perfectly as it is. So as long as you follow all the steps that I've shown you in this video tutorial, then you are guaranteed to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into your PC and also into your Linux or into your Android phone. So be sure to follow every step, okay? So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.